So let us quickly go through this uh, basic of semiconductor memory. So memory is the portion of a computer or a other system that stores binary data. So because we are talking memory ka baat kar rahe hai, and the computer, we have said that digital systems are all digital systems go uh, understand only binary data. So we have to uh, understand this is uh, this is stores binary data. और हम लोगों ने फ्लिप फ्लॉप भी सीखा है फ्लिप फ्लॉप कैसे एक लॉजिक सर्किट एक एक बिट इंफॉर्मेशन स्टोर किया एंड द सेम लॉजिक विल गो फॉरवर्ड टू स्टोर अ लॉट ऑफ बिग डेटा इन अ कंप्यूटर मेमोरी इज एक्सेस्ड मिलियंस ऑफ टाइम पर सेकंड सो द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ स्पीड एंड एक्यूरेसी इज पैरामाउंट वेरी फास्ट सेमीकंडक्टर मेमोरी इज अवेलेबल today in module with several gb of capacity to ye ek general baat bataya fir hum log thoda sa isse samajh lete hain aise jo nomenclature bits bytes nibbles and word ye kaise hai isko thoda sa samajh lete hain as a rule memory store data in units that have 1 to 8 bits The smallest unit of binary data, as you know, is the bit. जैसे flip flop कितना data store कर सकता है एक flip flop एक bit. So सबसे छोटा unit होता है bit. Bit मतलब zero one जो है ये एक एक store करेगा तो that bit call bit a bit. So in many application data are handled in a eight bit unit called byte. So byte मतलब eight bit. 8 बिट को मिला के हम लोग बोलते बाइट और इट इज मल्टीपल ऑफ 8 बिट यूनिट्स द बाइट कैन बी स्प्लिट इनटू टू 4 बिट यूनिट्स आर कॉल्ड निबल्स निबल्स मतलब 4 बिट 4 बिट यूनिट को हम लोग निबल्स बोलते हैं बाइट्स कैन आल्सो बी ग्रुप्ड टू इनटू वर्ड्स द टर्म वर्ड कैन हैव टू मीनिंग इन कंप्यूटर टर्मिनोलॉजी इन मेमोरी इट इज डिफाइंड एज अ ग्रुप ऑफ बिट्स आर बाइट्स दैट एक्ट एज अ सिंगल एंटिटी That can be stored in one memory location. तो ये जो वर्ड हम लोग बोलते हैं तो वर्ड हम बोल रहे हैं लिख रहे हैं कंप्यूटर की लैंग्वेज में वर्ड कुछ ग्रुप ऑफ बिट्स या ऐसे बोले कि बाइट्स जो एक सिंगल एंटिटी की तरह काम करते हैं उनको हम लोग एक मेमोरी लोकेशन में स्टोर कर सकते तो दिस इज आव वी डिफाइन दिस बिट्स बाइट्स नेबल्स एंड वर्ड ये सब थोड़ा थोड़ा जरूरी इसलिए हो जाता है कि कई बार आ, कभी तुम कुछ जनरल एग्जाम दोगे बी के बाद बहुत तरह तरह के एग्जाम तुम लोग को देने को होंगे कुछ लोग हायर एजुकेशन में जाएंगे कुछ लोग कम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स में जाएंगे कुछ लोग सिविल सर्विसेज में जाएंगे देर विल बी लॉट ऑफ चॉइसेस फॉर यू गाइज सो बट दीज थिंग्स कम्स इन द पिक्चर ऑलमोस्ट एवरी टाइम सब जगह कुछ ना कुछ कहीं ना कहीं ये ये सब चीजें आती हैं तो ये सब छोटी छोटी डिफिनेशन हैं मुझे लगता है हर को पहले से पता बट फिर भी वी कैन रिवाइज व्हेन वी आर गोइंग टू दिस पर्टिकुलर पार्ट ऑफ आवर सिलेबस वेयर वी आर डिस्कसिंग मेमोरी सो दीज आर द बेसिक टर्मिनोलॉजी फॉर द मेमोरीज लेट्स गो फर्दर द बेसिक मेमोरी एरे सो ईच स्टोरेज एलिमेंट इन अ मेमोरी कैन रिटेन आइदर जीरो और वन इज कॉल्ड ए सेल मतलब जो मेमोरी uh, स्टोर करने के लिए जैसे बोले कि सिक्सटी फोर सेल मेमोरी एरे ऑर्गेनाइज इन थ्री डिफरेंट वे सो दिस इज लाइक दैट तो ये जो एक पॉइंट है जहां पे हम एक बिट इंफॉर्मेशन स्टोर कर सकते हैं इसको हम लोग बोलते हैं मेमोरी सेल सो इच ब्लॉक इन द मेमोरी एरे रिप्रेजेंट वन स्टोरेज सेल and uh, its location can be identified by specifying a row and column to so basically hota kya hai ki jo hamare paas bahut sara memory hota hai computer mein hum kuch bhi click karte hain kuch bhi mangte hain ki ye kahan hai wo kahan hai to alag alag jagah pe wo store hai aur us storage ko access karne ke liye uska kuch address bhi hona chahiye always we need to have some address for that सो दिस इज वाई हम लोग इसको ऐसे समझ रहे हैं कि ये मेमोरी एरे है मेमोरी एरे है फिर मेमोरी सेल है हर सेल का एक अपना एड्रेस है तो 
uh, it can be identified by specifying row and column. So the 164, 64 cell array can be organized in uh, several way based on units of data. So this means alag alag tarah 18 to 8 array dikha raha. This is 18 to 8 array. This is 16 into 4 array. This is 16 into 1 array. Aise karke different tarah se data organize kiya jata hai. Or uh, uh, a memory is identified by the number of words it can store times the word size. For example, uh, 16K into 8 memory can store 16,384 words of 8 bits each. The inconsistency, inconsistency here is common in memory terminology. The actual number of words is always the power of 2, which means 2 to the power 14, this number. However, it is common practice to state the number of the nearest thousand. So we say 16,000. So ये चीज भी समझ में आएगा जैसे तुम देखो कि एक bit में एक megabyte में कितने bytes होते तो वो जो number है it is not like just uh, 100 का multiple होगा ऐसे तो यहाँ पे two का multiple सब कुछ होता है so this is why these relations comes into picture तो ये बोले कि ये ऐसा जो memory है इतने word store कर सकता है bit का तो इस number comes because of it is multiple of this और इसको हम लोग आसानी से ऐसे बोलते हैं 16 के but it is 16,384. So almost these number the number कितने word store करेगा कितना बड़ा कितने सारे bit information store करेगा it is always multiple of two and we know since we started from very basic from binary number different number system हम लोगों ने सीखे थे और उसमें बाइनरी कैसे होता है तो we we already know a lot of things we have discussed in great detail so we to understand this thing कि terminology में inconsistency क्यों है I don't think we need a more explanation for that so this is how you say मतलब ऐसे हम लोग memory array होता है उसी में हम लोग memory cell होता है तो to address memory cell every cell has some address so from that address, we, we recall it. We call this like in computer, in mobile, we, when we open something, when we, go, uh, when we access something. So it is, uh, it is stored in somewhere and then we give a proper address. Everything, an address path. Like if you have done some programming type, ka kaam kiya, then you will see how we address different files कैसे हम लोग जैसे जैसे एक होता है विंडोज एंड्रॉइड ये सब हम लोग यूज करते हैं तो इसमें जो इंटरफेस है वो कुछ इस तरह का होता है कि हमको पता नहीं होता है कि कैसे हो रहा है बट व्हेन वी यूज सम प्रॉपर्ली या तो हम उसको समझें या तो या लिनक्स है या कुछ ऐसे जिसमें हम लोग प्रॉपर प्रोग्रामिंग करते हैं देन यू विल सी हाउ वी एड्रेस एवरीथिंग कैसे हर चीज का एक लोकेशन है उसका एक अपना एड्रेस है तो ऐसे ही यहां पे जो भी हम मेमोरी का बात कर रहे हैं तो मेमोरी कंप्यूटर में कई तरह का होता है और उसकी भी हम लोग आगे बात करेंगे। But as of now you understand पहले बेसिक्स हम लोगों ने सीखे कि मेमोरी में कैसे-कैसे टर्मिनोलॉजीज़ हैं, बिट बाइट्स हैं ना। Then we are talking about कैसे इनको एड्रेस करते हैं, कैसे रहते हैं। Then let's go into more detail. What is it is called memory address and capacity. So a representation of a small 8 into 8 memory chip is shown here. Physical address of 16 bit memory. A 16 bit memory जो हम लोगों ने 8 into 8 पहले देखा, तो ऐसे दिखा रहे हैं कैसे कुछ physical structure हो. So the location of unit of data in memory array is called its address. इसका जो location है, जैसे कोई भी इसका एक कोई भी हम लोग देखे तो उसको हम लोग ऐसे देख सकते हैं. This is sixth row, fifth column. तो six into five, this is address. Like जैसे हम लोग matrix पढ़ते हैं, तो अभी तुम अगर सोचोगे, जैसे हम लोग जब शुरू में mathematics में matrix और data में ये सब बहुत सारे चीजें आती हैं, then you don't see कि इनका logic actually physical क्या है और कैसे है, तो ये सब आता कहाँ से? इन तरह की चीजों से आता है, जब हम कुछ design करते हैं, कुछ conceptually उसको कर रहे होते हैं। so mathematics में जो भी चीजें जो भी concept पढ़ते हैं they had some something to do with reality and when we think in a better way then we can make a lot of new innovation तो ऐसे ही देखो जैसे एक एक matrix 
तो यदि सब कुछ पढ़ते हैं इसी तरह की चीजें यहाँ पे हम लोग देख रहे हैं जैसे हम लोग डिफ्रेंसिएशन इंटीग्रेशन ये सब सीखते हैं देन यू सी लॉजिक सर्किट ऐसे बना दिया गया जो डिफ्रेंसिएशन इंटीग्रेशन कर पा रहा है देन यू सी एडिशन मल्टीपल हम लोगों ने इसमें सीखा कैसे एड और सब्टेक्टर बनाते हैं सो मीन्स देर आर ऑफ थिंग्स विच वी थिंक ओनली वी कैन डू and then later on when uh, we try to properly understand uh, things then we can design systems which can do which can perform that tasks for us to so, ye 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 hum log yahan pe aise baat kar rahe the ki memory array mein uska kuch jo bhi address hota hai from which we can address it for example in part b you see this one the address of this blue bit is Uh, row five, column four. The address of blue byte. This is byte means total eight eight uh, eight bits means one byte. This is row three. ऐसे करके हम लोग address कर सकते हैं. So in part C, the address of byte is specified by only by row. So uh, you can see the address depend on how the memory is organized into units of data. Personal computer have random access memory organized in bytes. This means the smallest group. अब बिट्स दैट कैन बी एड्रेस्ड इज एट ओके तो ये चीज समझ समझने वाला बात ये है कि जो रेंडम एक्सेस मेमोरी होता है इट डजेंट डू इट इन बिट्स इट डज इट इन बाइट्स मतलब एट बिट का जो ग्रुपिंग है इट इज इट इज ऑलरेडी देर यू कैन ब्रेक इट फॉर जनरल जो हम लोग जो हम लोग पर्सनल कंप्यूटर यूज करते हैं वहां पे ओके so let's go further what it is this figure shows memory address in an expanded multiple array so ye aise dekho ki ye kaise array hai 8 into 8 hum log ek dekh rahe the there are a lot of things then like this so this illustrates an expansion of 8 into 8 64 bit array to 64 bit mem uh, byte memory So the address of a byte in an array is specified where row and column are shown. In the case, the smallest group of the bit that can be addressed is eight. This can be viewed in three-dimensional array as like this. So, ऐसे मतलब हम लोग इसको देख सकते हैं कैसे memory uh, address किया जाता है, कैसे memory organize किया जाता है. And uh, then uh, you see this. कि क्या eight into eight का eight है? तो मतलब थ्री डी में जैसे जो ये थ्री डी टाइप में दिखा रहे हैं यहाँ पे इट इज लाइक दिस दिस इज हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट मेमोरी ब्लॉक्स मेमोरी बैंक्स मेमोरी बैंक एंड रैंक व्हाट इज दिस अ बैंक इज अ सेक्शन ऑफ मेमोरी विद इन सिंगल मेमोरी एरे सिंगल मेमोरी एरे मीन दिस इज अ चिप वेरी से सिंगल मेमोरी एरे अ मेमोरी चिप में है वन आर मोर बैंक तो ये इसको बैंक बोल रहे हैं जैसे ये एरे है एट इंटू वन एट इंटू एट का वन है तो इसको बोले कि दिस इज बैंक मेमोरी बैंक कैन बी यूज फॉर स्टोरिंग फ्रिक्वेंटली यूज इंफॉर्मेशन इजियर एंड फास्टर एक्सेस कैन बी अचीव बाई नोइंग सेक्शन ऑफ मेमोरी इन विच द डेटा इज स्टोर ए रैंक is a group of chips that can make up that make up a memory module that is store data in units such as words and bytes the terms are illustrated in figure so this is rank is the 1 2 3 4 aisa karke pura banaya the isko bol de rank and this is bank this is how we say and each block says one bit one bit of information 64 bit it byte word लाइक दिस अगर हम लोग का ये कितना एट एट बिट्स मतलब एक बाइट यहाँ पे आया अब हम लोग को एट बाइट वर्ड हो अगर तो हम ऐसे ऐसे स्टोर कर सकते हैं वी ट्राई टू पुट बेसिक नॉर्मल क्लेचर इन द पिक्चर सो दैट वी कैन बेटर अप्रिशिएट एंड बेटर अंडरस्टैंड द आइडिया ऑफ मेमोरी डेटा स्टोरेज so today we are going to uh, start basic memory operations what are the operations and the, how do we do that so we will discuss all of these things 
So addressing is the process of accessing a specified location in memory. Since uh, memory stores binary data, data must put into memory and data must be copied from memory when needed. So you see, there are two things. जितना भी मेमोरी मतलब जो डेटा है हमारा उसको हमको कहीं स्टोर करना है और जब हमको उसकी जरूरत पड़े तो हम उसको रिकॉल करना है सो देर आर टू ऑपरेशन इन दिस वे वन इज वेन वी पुट डेटा इन द मेमोरी एंड वन वेन वी नीड डेटा देन वी कॉल इट सो देर आर टू ऑप्शन वेन यू पुट द डेटा इन द मेमोरी वी कॉल इट राइट ऑपरेशन मीन्स वी राइट इट and uh, when we need the data when we copy it so it means uh, we need data we copy the the data and uh, get it get it in in this way so these are two operation one is write one is read so write operation kya hai read operation kya hai and uh, how they are different and uh, so these kind of things today we will discuss in mem basic memory operations so the write operation puts data in into a an specified address in the memory and read operation copies data out of a specified address in the memory so these are two operations these are like two commands when we give it to so memory mein wo uh, data rakh dega usko hum log write operation keh denge write uh, command denge then it will uh, put the data in the memory and when we uh, give this command to read it will copy the data from a specified address in the memory address se hum log samajh hi rahe hai ki jaise ki kal hum logon ne baat kiya tha every cell has its address so uh, we know where our data lies and uh, whenever we need it we, we recall it from that so that is the operation we call read operation so the addressing operation which is part of both write and read operation select the specified memory address to so, jo addressing operation hai basically jab tumko data likhna hai when you, when you say the write operation then only then also uh, it means uh, you you have to address it so this is the read operation and then also we have to address it so data goes uh data unit goes into memory during a write operation and come out of memory during a read operation jab data read karte hai ya write karte hai to particularly memory ke jo address hai wahan pe wo data jata hai aur ye kaise jata hai what is the process for it data units goes into memory during a write operation and come out of the memory during read operation on set of lines that is called data bus so these are the terminologies so data bus kya hai ye ek it is bidirectional matlab ek taraf se data aa sakta hai ek taraf se data ja sakta hai and uh, jab humko copy karna hai jab humko bhejna hai this is how it it works hum log jitna kuch karte hai so there is data bus and all the, all these things when we learn microprocessor to usko hum log aur detail mein sam, samajh payenge but these are the basic operation read and write read or write mein dono mein humko memory ko address karna padta hai aur is tarah se address karne ke liye data aana data jaane ke liye ek samajh lo data bus hai and the data bus is bidirectional isme data idhar se jata hai udhar se aata hai all things comes on and yahi sab cheeze ek मेमोरी है कोई तो उसका मतलब जैसे हम लोग कुछ पेन ड्राइव लगाते हैं डेटा ट्रांसफर करते हैं टेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम इन सम पोर्ट इट टेक लेस टाइम सो वाइट हैपन बिकॉज ऑफ द यही जो डेटा बस ये सब चीजें है ये कैसा है और कितना स्पीड ये जो डेटा ट्रांसफर का स्पीड है कहीं ना कहीं इट इज रिलेटेड टू ऑल दिस थिंग्स सो इन द केस ऑफ बाइट ऑर्गेनाइज मेमोरीज बाइट मतलब जैसे बिट होता है एक और बाइट मतलब एट बिट का एक बाइट होता है सो so, ऐसा कुछ मेमोरी जो ऑर्गेनाइज्ड है पहले से द डेटा बस हैज एटलीस्ट एट लाइन सो दैट ऑल एट बिट्स इन सेलेक्टेड एड्रेस आर ट्रांसफर्ड इन पैरल फॉर अ राइट 
or a read operation, an address is selected by placing a binary code representing the desired address on a set of line called the address bus. And the number of lines in the address bus depend on the capacity of the memory. So, uh, in general, we log yahan pe ye cheez samajhte hain ki do operation ka baat kar rahe hain ek read ek write dono mein memory address karni padegi humko kahan pe likhne wale hain kahan se read karne wale hain and this data uh, kaise jayega aur kaise aayega iske liye address bus hum log kaise soch sakte aur jo byte organized memory hai matlab isme byte mein data jata hai to byte matlab 8 bits so we have to have an uh, uh, so that all bits in a specified address are selected and transferred in parallel to so data bus us tarah se ho aur uh, isi mein hum log ek cheez define kar rahe hain address bus address bus kya hai for a write and read operation address is selected by placing a binary code representing the desired address on the set of line called address bus and uh, the number of lines in the address bus depend upon the capacity of the memory so let us look uh, a diagram by which we to understand read and write operation step by step so this is an uh, like a, a diagram which shows how to uh, how uh, write operation work so this is an byte organized memory yeah yahan pe hamare paas hum isme kuch bhi this is memory basically so here we can what we can do we can do write operation read operation so here we are trying to learn write operation so this is this is the data which we want to put here so this how it comes it comes by data bus and this is address register where it goes ye jo data hai isko kahan bhejna hai humko ye humko address bus se select karte hai so address bus selects the date the, uh, the location in the memory when the memory address data and then data bus takes the data and put it here so you see uh, there are three steps made here so address code 101 is placed on the address bus and address 5 is selected so matlab ye kuch aisa code hai this is a code which when we give an address bus it selects here this is address decoder it selects which one uh, kaun sa hum log बाइट में डेटा देना चाहते सो इफ दिस हैज समथिंग इट इज डिकोडेड नंबर फाइव सो मींस नाउ इट सेलेक्ट्स दिस इज द प्लेस वेयर वी वांट टू पुट डेटा एंड देन डेटा बाइट इज प्लेस इन द डेटा बस जो डेटा हमको देना था वो डेटा बस में हमने रख दिया एंड देन राइट कमांड कॉज द डेटा बाइट टू बी स्टोर्ड इन एड्रेस फाइव रिप्लेसिंग प्रीवियस डाटा यहां पे जो भी पहले था उसको इसने यहां पे लिख दिया so this is write operation write operation mein aise hota hai so i think uh, uh, it gives more clarity when we look it in uh, in in pictorial form so uh, this is how a write operation uh, looks like and then you see what is uh, read operation read operation again uh, we have same uh, kind of diagram so this is memory array this is a address decoder this is address register this is data register this is data bus this is address bus and let us see how this uh, step by things happen so number 1 is address code 011 is placed on the address bus and address 3 is selected so this is a code in address bus it comes to address decoder then address decoder selects is ki kaun sa ye array mein Uh, हम डेटा पढ़ना चाहते हैं सो देन दिस इज हियर वी हैव ऑलरेडी डेटा तो रीड कमांड इज अप्लाइड सो यू सी इन राइट ऑपरेशन डेटा कम्स फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर एंड इन रीड ऑपरेशन डेटा कम्स फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर ओके सो रीड कमांड इज अप्लाइड देन व्हाट हैपन द कंटेंट इन इंडस्ट्री इज प्लेस्ड ऑन द डेटा बस एंड शिफ्टेड टू डेटा रजिस्टर जब जैसे हम लोग जैसे ही रीड ऑपरेशन रीड कमांड देंगे तो ये जो भी लोकेशन यहाँ पे हमने दिया है एड्रेस बस एड्रेस रजिस्टर के थ्रू यूजिंग एड्रेस बस एंड एड्रेस डिकोडर वी सेट हुई मेमोरी पार्ट ऑफ द मेमोरी वी आर ट्राइंग टू एड्रेस 
we selected this one this this byte we are we are interested in then as soon as we give the read command what will happen the data is, uh, in this uh, line will be copied and will taken to the data register by data bus. this time data goes this to this okay the content of address 3 is placed in the data bus and shifted to the data register the content of address 3 is not erased by the read operation this is one thing so uh, when we were talking about uh, write operation you see what happens when this data comes here so whatever we we had data here previously is erased and this new data is kept here so this is write operation and in read operation what happens whatever it is there it copies the data and it goes to the data register but this is not erased it remains as it is okay so these are basically two operation read operation and write operation so we have to uh, have an understanding of what are these operations and uh, how we perform it and what happens actually now the next thing is uh, we want to understand the types of memory so basically in our syllabus we have uh, uh, this in syllabus ram and rom so you see when we go buy a laptop or uh, any uh, like uh, a smartphone we always curious about ram what is ram iska ram kya hai or a uh, memory hota hai ek ram hota hai so ram is how how it is different and uh, uh bahut sara cheeze hai iske ram aur rom ka ek family hai they have a lot of details about it but uh, what we we are interested in uh, in our course is we will uh, try to understand the different types of these memories and how they are different and uh, its uh, applications so first let us try to understand it then uh, we will go to uh, explore uh, how how we use it how we utilize it the ram and roms the two major categories of semiconductor memories are ram and rom ram means random access memory so uh, is a type of memory in which all addresses are accessible in an equal amount of time and can be selected in any order for a read or write operation so you see what is uh, uh, special about ram why we are uh, many time when we go to buy a you know, laptop or uh, smartphone we always care about ram is ka ram kam hoga to chal bahut slow chalega ya kai sara aise limitations hain jiski wajah se hum chahte hain ki ram zyada ho to ram basically kis tarah ka memory hai isme all addresses are accessible in equal amount of time and can be selected in any order for read or write operation our rams have both read and write capacity matlab yahan pe data hum write bhi kar sakte hain read bhi kar sakte we can uh, ram lose stored data when the power is turned off they are volatile memory to ye aisa hai ki agar jab hum us memory ko power nahi denge to data erase ho jayega it will not store it so that is why the ram memories are called volatile memory now let's come to the next point our next type of memory that is rom rom means read only memory it is type of memory in which data are stored permanently or semi permanently तो ये ये मेमोरी अलग टाइप की है इसको इसमें है क्या है रीड वनली मेमोरी तो जैसे इसका नाम है ऐसे ही इसको अभी हम समझते हैं तो ये समझ में आएगा वाई वी से रीड वनली मेमोरी वी कंट राइट इट और हॉट सो द डेटा इज स्टोर्ड परमानेंटली एज सेमी परमानेंटली 
उसमें क्या था क्या था कि जो डेटा है वो ऐसा कुछ डेटा स्टोर नहीं करता है इट इज लाइक दिस यू कैन रीड एंड राइट एंड ऑल मेमोरी एड्रेस इज एक्सेसिबल तो एक तरह का बड़ा डायनेमिक टाइप का है और जैसे ही लाइट लाइट मींस व्हेन यू डोंट गिव पावर टू इट पावर इज स्ट्रांग एनफ एंड द रैम डजेंट हैव डेटा इट डजेंट स्टोर द डेटा बट रोम इसमें क्या होता है डेटा इज स्टोर परमानेंटली आर सेमी परमानेंटली मतलब डिलीट कर सकते हैं डिलीट करना चाहे तो डेटा कैन बी रीड फ्रॉम रोम बट देर इज नो राइट ऑपरेशन जैसे इसका नाम है मतलब इसमें सिर्फ रीड ऑपरेशन कर सकते हैं सो इफ यू पुट सम डेटा देयर यू कैन कॉपी वेन एवर यू नीड इट बट यू कॉन्ट राइट सो नो राइट ऑपरेशन एज इन द रैम The the ROM, like the RAM, is a random access memory, but the term RAM traditionally means red, random access read-write memory. So uh, ये जो RAM है इसका भी uh, मतलब access is not different, so it is also a random access memory. But ऐसा इसका नाम दिया गया तो एक तरह से ऐसे समझे कि जो RAM है उसमें हम read और write दोनों ऑपरेशन कर सकते हैं बट जो ROM है उसमें हम लोग रीड और राइट दोनों ऑपरेशन नहीं कर सकते वी डू ओनली रीड ऑपरेशन इन केस ऑफ रोम सो बिकॉज रोम रिटेन स्टोर डेटा इवन इफ पावर इज टर्न ऑफ दे आर नॉन वॉलेटाइल मेमोरीज सो रैम और रोम दोनों में अंतर सब अगर हम लोग इसको समराइज करें इतना पढ़ने के बाद तो ऐसे कह सकते हैं कि Uh, first of all uh, we understand its name random access memory and uh, rom read only memory and you know rom is also random access memory but the basic difference is ram uh, when we say ram ram has both operation read and write but rom doesn't have that operation rom only reads it doesn't have write operation and uh, ram has ram has a volatile memory matlab uska data wo data store karke nahi rakhta hai agar power off karenge to jo bhi data hoga wo chala jayega but uh, rom it stores the data even if power is turned off so they are non volatile memory so these are terminologies we need to understand now let us uh, try to read with more about random access memory ram and uh, we we will look at its uh, different types but uh, we are not going into much detail of the types of this uh, family and uh, we, we we actually don't need to go to that much detail uh, in the scope of our course so let us read it out A RAM is an read-write memory in which data can be written into read from any selected address in any sequence. When a data unit is written into a given address in the RAM, the data unit previously stored at that address is replaced by new data unit. So we have we have already discussed this part. Okay, it means that we can do read-write two operations. जब हम डेटा राइट समथिंग जो उसमें पहले से होता है वो चला जाता है जो नया हम लोग लिखते हैं वो आ जाता है डेटा यूनिट इज रीड फ्रॉम गिवन एड्रेस इन द रैम द डेटा यूनिट रिमेन्स स्टोर एंड नॉट इरेज बाई द रीड ऑपरेशन दट इज ऑल्सो वी हैव डिस्कस द रीड ऑपरेशन डजेंट इरेज द डेटा This non-destructive read operation can be viewed as copying the content from an address while leaving the content intact. RAM is typically used for short-term data storage because it cannot return retain stored data when power is turned off. Okay, so uh, this is how RAM is. In general, we we learn all the properties of RAM, and you see then uh, its family, random access memory. So they are basically divided in two classes: static RAM and uh, dynamic RAM. And then uh, static RAM is classified into two: that is asynchronous static RAM, 
and synchronous static RAM. And the dynamic RAM is classified in four classes. This is first phase mode DRAM, dynamic RAM, extended data out dynamic RAM, and bust idio uh, dynamic RAM, and synchronous dynamic RAM. So, what are these things? If we want to know more about them, then you can go to that uh, book. And uh, I don't think as uh, the level of our course, we need to go into that that greater detail. Basically, our course is uh, uh, designed in a very beautiful way. It covers a lot of things. So it, this computer organization is a part of a unit. And here we, we are trying to have a basic uh, understanding of that. So at this level, uh, this much information is also okay enough, we can say at this, at our uh, level. So you can go into more detail if you are interested. And uh, if you find something uh, to be discussed, then also we can talk about it as much. Uh, I know in this uh, field, I will uh, try to address your questions. Although a lot of information is available on the internet. So if you want to, if you have interest and you want to pursue it uh, in more detail, you're more than welcome. Then uh, this is about read only memory, the second type of memory what we learn. The a room contains permanently or semi-permanently stored data, which can be uh, read from uh, the memory, but either cannot be changed at all or cannot be changed without specialized, specialized, specialized equipment. Means, uh, as we told that uh, this is a read-only memory. So writing here is with uh, special. So when you can read, it cannot be changed. You can copy the data whenever you need it. It is also a random access memory. It means uh, the properties of random access memory will be there, but the operation basically, which we have operation in the basic operation in which we learn two type operation, read and write. Uh, so that thing is basic, uh, different and uh, the, the memory volatile non-volatile this is a difference so uh, we may uh, find you may make uh, like uh, we can give an assignment like uh, uh, tell the differences between ram and rom so we can make four or five points easily from the discussion we had today so rom is two data that are used repeatedly in system application, such as tables, conversions, a program instructions, a foreign system initialization and operation. So you see, what is its use? There, there is some data which we need uh, permanently and uh, which is most, uh, most of the time we require it. So for that, we need to have uh, this kind of memory. And there are some part of things when, when we do for it uh, operations, you don't have, need to store the data. So for that, we have RAM. So you see, uh, like uh, how RAM affect things and why we need some permanent memory. So you see memory is there. Collectively, when we say, uh, it's we say only memory, but then when, when we uh, go into detail, uh, like when we study microprocessor, we will see that a lot of information we need uh, which is not required. There are a lot of information which you need, which we require later on. So that is important. Like uh, you see, when we kind of perform some transaction, so we need an OTP. So OTP is important till you don't put it there. Once you put the number there, you don't need to store it. So for that, you need to have a different kind of memory and uh, your account number, which is a number you need permanently. So if when you want to store this, so we, we will use a, a read-only memory for that. And when we want to have something which is not that important, which is important for time being, so for that we, we, we use uh, RAM type memory. 
so it is because just uh, uh, depending upon the application and you see all these things in our uh, uh, this memory and all when when we are talking about all this if it is beautiful to think about how our how, how our mind works and how we remember things like uh, we the mind has an memory we, we remember a lot of things and there is this processing is very completely different and much more innovative much more dynamic and uh, it has a lot of things to understand so when we are learning these type of memories uh, we can think of uh, what does it mean is this this is what we design we design circuits we put some data there we we understand in this way but uh, again when we try to understand what is your memory and how our mind work then you see how uh, innovative how different and uh, how this the all this kind of memory you see uh, we also have such kind of things there are few things which we observe every day and we don't care to remember it there are few things which uh, get stuck in so in mind also there are the, there are some means uh, like in human brain is much more evolved much more advanced than any device we are making we are using and all so this is also an uh, exciting thing and very uh, good exercise to think in this way like hum log jab kuch aise padhte hain to usko thoda bahut sare aise diverse field mein connect kare jo itna connective इतना कनेक्टिंग लगता नहीं है जैसे कुछ भी चीजें जो बहुत हम द ब्यूटी ऑफ साइंस इज दैट नथिंग इज एब्सर्ड हियर यू कैन थिंक एनीथिंग इफ यू थिंक समथिंग डिफरेंट एंड देन यू ट्राई टू पुट सम मींस यू इन्वेस्ट सम टाइम इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस इन नर्चरिंग द लिंक्स सो देयर आर थिंग्स आर वेरी मच कनेक्टेड वेरी मच सिमिलरिटी Uh, you see uh, like we see in nature there is symmetry and there are a lot of things and that comes when we uh, read something when we try to understand the nature so these factors are very important so like uh, when we are talking about these different type of memories and all so all this comes from ye koi pehle se thodi na aaya ye to banaya gaya hai kaise bana hoga iska kya idea hoga kahan se cheeze aayi hongi so if you if you try to connect this with all then uh, it is a very exciting feeling i feel uh, so so this is about uh, read only memory and then read only memory has a family like uh, different type of uh, roms so we say mask rom programmable rom erasable rom ultraviolet erasable rom electronically erasable programmable rom so there are different type of uh, memories in that way also and uh, we can for this also you can go to that floyd's book and uh, go to the different types and try to understand what are the differences and for us i think this much information is enough uh, at the at the level of our course and uh, i don't want to go into much more detail unnecessarily which create a burden for you because you are uh, studying other more courses and uh, all assessments and all things are being planned so we'll keep it uh, at this level and uh, for uh, anyone who is curious to know it's uh, there are all uh, many options a lot of resources are shared with you so you can uh, go into that and read it so in today's class uh, if i summarize what we learned today so we can say we first we learn uh, basic memory operations and where we learn what is read and write and how these operations are performed we try to understand using an uh, picture and uh, then then only we we go into types of memory the, the semiconductor memories uh, the basic classification is ram and rom so what is ram what is rom and how they are different and uh, its applications uh, when we need ram when we need rom 
and uh, we try to see its classification, its uh, family structure, kitne tare ke ram hote hain, kitne tare ke rom hote hain. Or uh, so this much is enough at uh, our level. And uh, now if you see uh, uh, on this computer organization, third segment of this unit where we are talking about data storage, computer memory, memory organization and addressing. So we have almost discussed this part. So in uh, next uh, classes, we will go to uh, this microprocessor architecture in which we will learn this Intel 8085 microprocessor. So what is microprocessor and how does it work? So we will need uh, two, three lectures on that. And uh, then we'll wind up this course.